Stoppage of biogas Overfeeding The number of methanogenic bacteria in the biogas plant is determined by the size of the digester. Therefore, the quantity of feedstock to be applied daily is also limited by the digester size. Feeding more feedstock than the rated quantity causes breakdown of the system. The bacteria also need water for digesting the feedstock. They cannot work properly without receiving their daily recommended quantity of water. The biogas plant would not produce biogas without the daily input of feedstock and water. The biogas plant fails to start if the dung or the slurry used as the starter is less than the recommended quantity. If the digester is not completely filled with water, the biogas plant produces less biogas than its rated capacity. Measures for restarting a non-functioning biogas plant. Reduced biogas production means reduced rate of digestion of the feedstock. In such cases, reduce the feedstock quantity to match the gas production. Otherwise, the non-utilized feedstock would go on accumulating in the digester and the system would eventually stop functioning. Test the pH of the medium in the digester by using pH paper like this. Ideally, the pH should be 7. If the pH is less than 7, mix 1 kg lime that is calcium hydroxide with a bucket full of water and pour the mixture into the digester. Biogas production should start in about a week. Test the pH again and repeat the procedure till the value of pH 7 is achieved. Do not put any feedstock into the digester as long as the biogas plant is not generating any biogas. Keep the gas cock of the gas holder closed when the biogas is not being used. If leakage of biogas is suspected, test all the joints by applying soap water to them. Leaky joints and other leaky spots should be sealed by applying to them a mixture of epoxy cement and hardener. If the quantity of biogas gets reduced due to cold weather, reduce the quantity of feedstock proportionately. The quantity of gas depends on the type of feedstock, dung, paper or material like leaves and stalks of green vegetables yield less biogas than sugar, starch, protein, fat or oils. If the gas holder tank is full of gas and yet the gas is not delivered to the stove, check the rubber pipe carrying the biogas from the gas holder to the stove. Remove any twists or folds in the pipe. Gas flow can also be blocked by accumulation of water in the pipe. In that case, Disconnect the pipe from the gas holder and the gas stove and tilt it to remove the accumulated water. Also check if the pipe is not blocked by dirt or any other obstruction. Remove the obstruction. We provide training in biogas plant fabrication and installation in our institute. And we also provide the biogas entrepreneurs with clients. For developing this compact biogas system, our institute received Ashden Award 
for sustainable energy for the year 2006 in a ceremony that took place in London in June 2006. Thank you.